Let us pray. Almighty Father, we worship you for this soul intercessory prayer. Please release your word into our heart to be saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit so that wherever we are, we search for souls. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go straight to the Word of God. Acts of Apostles chapter 8, verse 4 to 8. Please open the Bible so that we can see what the Lord Jesus Christ has in stock for us. Acts chapter 8, 4 to 8. The topic as you are opening is searching for souls. Today's is soul intercessory prayer. Now, 4 to 8. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere. We are preaching the word. What are they preaching? The word. And then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave it unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. So as we are searching, as we are preaching the word, as we are searching for souls, God will be training us, demonstrating his power to that they will hear, they will see the miracles of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 7, for unclean spirits. Unclean spirit that is coming over the world, crying without voice. They will cry out. Came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame were healed. Hallelujah. And there was great joy in that city. Hallelujah. Great joy in that city. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So three points we are going to see today. Number one, salvation through sacrifice of the Savior. Number two is sanctification for the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. By this Son, the promise of the Spirit, when we are sanctified, separated, and we are set as very holy, we are Lord for the Lord, then the Spirit of the Son that He promised, the Comforter will come in. And what do we do with it? Then we, we, are, we scattered, wherever we are scattered, wherever we go to, wherever we are, you are actually, when we say scatter, you move from one place to the other, you, not, you are not confined to one place, you are scattering to search for souls, scatter to search for souls. And that one comes through the help of the Holy Spirit. Let's start from point number one, that is salvation through sacrifice of the Savior. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. Salvation is essential. No salvation, no soul searching. If you do it, it is in vain. You gain nothing. Because what shall it profit you? You compass the whole earth, land, you make people proselyte. What you tell them to, son, 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 of, son of hellfire, than yourself. And you yourself, where do you spend eternity? When you don't know Jesus, what are you spreading? So, number one, salvation through sacrifice of Jesus. He has paid the price. Look at what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. In whom? In Jesus. We have redemption, salvation, through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of grace. Today, let me tell you point blank. You need to recognize you were born in sin, and there's no sacrifice, no power, no prayer that is done, nothing that is done, no good work without accepting, agreeing with this perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Then you can be sure that you are saved. Let's look at the word of God for confirmation. If you are there, you are religious. You said this is one is your religious and you are practicing it. You are doing this. You are doing whatever. You are trying to be good. You are trying to be right. You are managing it. You are following, conforming to laws. It can't help you need Jesus. Jesus is the perfect sacrifice who came and died for sins so that through him, me and you shall be saved. Look at what the Bible says so that we know. Perfect sacrifice is only in Jesus Christ. He said, verse 22, that is Hebrew chapter 9, 22, and almost all things, I by the law poured with blood. Without shedding of blood, there's no remission. And look at what the Bible says so that you know, Jesus is the only one, the only true lamb that takes the sin of the world. Through the perfect sacrifice he made for us. Look at the testimony. The attestation of the man of God concerning Jesus. Chapter 2, verse 
29. Look at it in John 2, 29. Let's read together. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's see it together as the attestation of John the Bastard. That is John chapter 1, verse 29. John 1, 29. The next day, John said Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. The Lamb that was sacrificed. Are you ready? To give your life to Jesus, to surrender all, he will help you. Not your power. Come to him. I said, Jesus, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I surrender all. You can help me. You can save me too. You can scale me through. You can scale me up. You can increase me. You can make me to be different. To be actually taken away from depravity of sin to actually delivered to saints. And they will do it. God bless in Jesus' name. You are preparing yourself to join the saint that search for soul. Let's go to point number three. That is, that is sanctification for the spirit by the Son. Holy Spirit is promised by the Son. But first of all, let's see what the Bible has to tell us in the area of sanctification, separation, actually in the spirit, in the mind. Hebrew, you open to Hebrew. Let's see together the book of Hebrew chapter 2 and in verse 11. Let's see it quickly as God is helping. Are you there? God bless you as you are Hebrew chapter 2, 11. For both he that sanctified and they who are sanctified are all one. And if you look at the joints, the combined, the, the combined inheritance in Jesus Christ, he said, for which cause is not ashamed to call them brethren. So we become actually in joint ear, in joint relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, and we're joint ear with him through this power of sanctification that make us to be set apart and to be only and actually make a load within with the power of the blood. John chapter 14, let's look at it together. Open the Bible because we are looking for a pure heart. Because Holy Spirit is the Spirit that is promised, that is coming. Home. Without holiness, where will the Spirit dwell? So holiness actually Pave way for Holy Spirit. That's sanctification experience. Let's see what now comes, what the promise of Jesus Christ in chapter 14 of John. Open the Bible with me. John chapter 14. Are you there opening? The Lord bless you in verse 16 to 17 as we are opening. The Lord bless you. I know you are opening with me. Thank you so much. 14 to, uh, to 16. Uh, 14, 16 to 17. John 14. Yes. 16 to 17. God bless you. Yeah. And I I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knowing him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth in you and shall be in in you. Let's look at the word of God in verse 26 now. He said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Can you see the confirmation of the Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost, the comforter. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. That's why you'll be able to search for so teach them, bring them. And they will. he said, and bring all things to your remembrance. Even on the field of evangelism, he will remind you whatsoever I've said unto you. Nothing hidden again. The comforter will come and give you the word of God expressively. Let's look at the And as we receive the Holy Spirit, we receive the comforter, we now move out. Let's look at point number three, scatter to search for souls. Now, the Holy Spirit will now begin to divide us here and there. Put us here, put you in, in the United States, put some in uh, Belgium, in Brussels, put some in the uh, UK, put some in uh, Germany, in Frankfurt, put some in uh, Pakistan, put some in uh, Jamaica, put some in Sierra Leone, put some in everywhere. In Nigeria, there, Brazil, will, China will begin to make us to be scattered for a purpose. Christian, when you leave your foreign land, uh, when you leave your land to a foreign land, the essence is to search for soul. Let's see what happened as they scatter. Even in the church, we're scattered for a purpose. God knows why. Chapter 8 and in verse 4. Open to Acts of Apostle. Chapter 8, verse 4. Therefore, they were, they were scattered abroad. You are going abroad, leaving your country, your country or uh, origin, 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 and went everywhere preaching the word. Hallelujah. Do you want to go with us? Do you want to join the company? You need to be saved. Salvation is sacred. If you are not saved, search it out. Do it now. It will not be late. If you do it today, 
that you join the company of saints. God is not counting the day you were gone away 20 years ago, 30 years ago. When you are saved, sincerely saved, then you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, pray, Lord, oh Lord, purify my heart. Because blessed are the pure in heart, they will see God. Without purity, no man sees God. Without holiness, no man sees God. Without holiness, no eternal life. Because in the city of Jerusalem, we are going. Without holiness, you cannot get there. And when the holiness is in you, you go out there, wherever you are scattered, wherever you are, even from your, your house to your workplace, you are changed your destiny, your, your place of, of living. You went somewhere, and if you are actually left on vacation, you are there scattered to search for soul. So are you ready to search to when the Holy Spirit come upon you? You go everywhere preaching the word. Are you ready to join us to search for soul? Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much because you have called us together to search for soul. That none will be lost, we shall remain in you forever, and we bring others that will rejoice together in heaven. Thank you, Father, for considering us as part of the sin that we search for souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.